How you doing coaches? My name is Tobias Jacoby. I'm the head strength coach at Charleston Southern University. Today I'm going to talk about position specific strength training for football. Why I think position specific strength training is important is obviously yes, getting strong is getting strong. There are movements that every person can do in the weight room to become strong and powerful that, and I believe there are movements everybody should do. But there also are uh, certain areas where each individual's position needs specific work, whether it's the, off, you know, the offensive line, quarterbacks, things along those lines. And in this presentation, what I'm going to give you is just some methodology, some ideas, and some plans that I've used and implemented with our players for position-specific work as far as in the weight room. For our overview, for our position-specific training, what we break it down into is obviously our offensive linemen, our tight ends, running backs, wide receivers, quarterbacks, our place kickers as well, because we also always need stuff that like for them. Then obviously on our defensive side of the football. And here, what we really, what I've given you in the information here, which you'll also have at the end of the DVD, is the focus areas as far as what we're looking at for the position. Uh, what we're, you know, obviously with the offensive line you see here, you've got your triceps, your shoulders, and your grip. Uh, you know, those are the areas specifically the offensive linemen need to focus on. And then again, by each position, we're breaking it down, putting just small position specific keys that they need to work on. Also, another thing that's very important is we always include footwork drills with every position whether even your kickers and your punters, we are going to include foot dr footwork drills with them. Um, typically when we do this programming is this is a post-workout extra type thing. Football players love doing position specific. That's kind of a, a catchphrase as far as how things go in the strength and conditioning world. And you can really get players to buy into this stuff in the respect of, hey, this is going to help. You know, if an offensive lineman, it's going to help you punch better. If it's a quarterback, this is going to keep your shoulder healthier. If it's a, you know, a linebacker, this is going to help you run faster. You know, stop, change direction, or you know, defensive back. This is going to keep you from being, you know, hamstring pulls, things along those lines. So you're, it's a very easy way to get your players to buy in to strength training in the weight room that it's going to make them better. But at the same time, obviously, as coaches, we know these are areas that need to be addressed specifically depending on position. You can see with our offensive line, we're looking at you know close grip dumbbell bench, dumbbell front raise, wrist roller, and we set this up really around our training program. Uh, typically on Mondays and Thursdays, we'll do our bench pressing and our squatting main movements during our work we're doing our main training sessions where everybody's doing that. So then on those days, we'll do stuff that will coincide with what we've already tried to accomplish. Um, but we're also, we're working a lot on the tricep. We're working a lot, you know, to keep our players healthy shoulder-wise, especially in the offensive line when you're talking about typically AC sprains, things like that, where you get beat up. You need to develop some mus muscular size on your delts to help prevent shoulder uh, injuries. So really we want to focus a lot on that as well. Uh, also then on your grip with your offensive line is very important because realistically the best offensive linemen are the best holders. They just don't get caught. I played offensive line so I can say that. 